Hello, in this demo I will show how to simulate an antenna array using 3D components in HFSS. An antenna array can be created by assembling multiple 3D components into a desired configuration as shown in the figures to the right. One is the 8x8 antenna array covered by a radar and the other one is a dual band interleaved antenna array with two radiators, one for the low band and one for the high band. They are both on top of a frequency selective surface. Once assembled, the array is solved using either the distributed direct solver or the domain decomposition method solver, with no approximations such as infinite array, as it is using the full coupled matrix for uncompromised accuracy. The solver meshes the component in parallel for reduced simulation time. When the solution is completed, the user can plot and export both embedded patterns and any combination of embedded patterns. The designers can, for example, study any beam rates without resolving the array. Of course, the user is able to plot and export near fields, surface currents, S parameters, and much more. The 3D component array design approach is user friendly, allowing designers to explore various configurations effortless. Furthermore, this approach is fast and memory efficient, whether for a small antenna array in a cell phone or a large complex array for a base station. Setting up the antenna array is straightforward. There is three steps involved. The first step is to load the components. The second step is to assemble and arrange the components either directly to the UI or by loading a CSV file. The third step is to create an open region. Okay, here we have an empty HFSS design. First we think we do, we load the components. We go to the components here in the design, right click, browse component. We load the first uh, radiator component. Here is all the parameters, which means that we can go in and modify the components. Then we load the second component here, which is going to just be the copper block that is going to surround that antenna array. So now we have loaded our components. What we're going to do, we're going to create the antenna array. We do that by right clicking on model, create array. And in here we can select the number of elements we have in uh, the M and N direction. So we said 10 by 10 elements make them visible and here in the ui i will simply assemble the components so in this case i'm assembling them this way and if we look how it looks so here we can see we have it of course we don't need to have the components assembled in a in a square or in a rectangle, we can go in here and change the shape to any form that we wish. For example, I add some more of the copper blocks here and we can directly see how we are changing the design. And we can do other modifications and load other components and modify the array in the way that we like to have it. Right, so now what we want to do, we want to add the open region, right click and then we go for create open region and the center frequency for this design is 29 gigahertz and then you can select radiation boundary condition for the open region phoebe or the pml say we want to use the pml select ok now automatically that open region is created if you want to look how the pml looks like you can select the pml here you have the pml now, before we proceed, we need to set up solution, the, the analysis. So we right click, add solution setup, go to auto. And in this case, the only thing you need to add is the lower frequency range uh, in the range and then the higher frequency in the range. Then F HFSS will take care of the rest. You click OK. And then finally, you're right click analysis and hit solve all and hfss is now launching the solver and solving 
and uh, here is the results after a few minutes so we can see here is the far field pattern and uh, we can see also for example the s parameters here's the second design that i showed earlier of the multi-band interleaved antenna array we can clearly see the fss components the high band radiators the low band radiators together with the feeding uh, balloons and um, this is all being carried out with 3d compounds and that brings us to the end of this demo